Okay, welcome back again everyone to the Lamplighters League. So I left last time when we left off, we had done the um, mission with the other three agents while we had these three, uh, well one was wounded, two was incapacitated. Um, and it went quite well that mission, we did, uh, we used stress quite a lot, we took, um, I think it was Isaac, Celestine and, um, and Anna. So I've just been having a quick look at uh, what mission to do next here. Um, I don't think I'm bothered about any of these. Uh, these all cost two intelligence. We've only got three. Um, and we're all saying unlocks a special mission. So we've already got a couple of special missions to go at anyway. Um, in fact, I think there's three. At least two anyway. I'm not sure whether this one is classed as a special mission or not. So I'm I'm looking around. I'm I'm leaning towards this one. These here, um, Marto isn't going to reach a break point yet anyway. And these are both pretty tough missions. This is a three and a half. Um, I'm thinking the last difficult one we did was only three. I seem to think, and that was a really tough mission. Could have just been the way we handled it as well, of course. But this is three and a half plus it's got the sight on. Um, this is three. Um, although this decreases the Castro. Um, this one here is only decreasing strum by a tiny bit and it's got the scion there as well. So we've got this one or this one. Um, this one actually decreases it by more um, than this, but this again is a more difficult mission. It's a free mission and we've got this phenomena here as well. Uh, tide spawn and a major presence and a frenzied and move with two speed plus two speed so um, or we take this one this is two and a half we have had this available for quite a while either one of these will stop Nicastro reaching that break point um, this gives more supplies this gives an extra skill point obviously this one is a critical mission whereas this one isn't so it's one of these two really this is to assassinate a high magister it's just whether we, we fancy taking this on. I think we'll go for this. I think we'll take this one on this time. Let's just check. Yeah, we didn't unequip items here. So we'll go ahead and unequip uh, all these items like we did before. Then we've got a full roster of uh, items to pick from. Not actually sure who we're going to take on this uh, mission yet. We'll still give um, Isaac and Latif the week, uh, sorry not Isaac, um, Eddie and Latif a week off I think, although we could heal these up if we wanted to do, and we can actually take them out in this state anyway. Um, but I don't think it's wise, not when we've got other options. I'll just double check that in a second, but um, I think you can take them out wounded, but yeah, they can be stabilised one fewer times, so it's not really wise taking them out, but we, we could heal both of these, we've got plenty of heals, um, but I think we'll probably just give them the week off for what it is. Um, I am actually tempted to take Celestine, but I, I was going to take Ingrid on this one, and I don't know whether... Even though Celestine is a sneak, um, I'm not sure whether it's wise taking... She, she's melee based, even though she's a sneak, she's melee focused. I'm not sure whether it's wise taking two melee focused characters. It might it might decrease her options quite a bit. So I'm thinking we maybe take Ingrid, Anna, and um, and Isaac. We might give that a go, I think. I mean, it did work well with a stress last time, um, which obviously Celestine works around, but I can't help thinking if we take... Obviously, we could take Celestine instead of Ingrid. That's another option. Could take the same group as we took last time.
Yeah, I, I'm thinking probably we take Ingrid, Anna, and Isaac. We might give that one a go, I think. But I think we're going to go with um, with this one. So we've got to infiltrate Assumption House, eliminate the Deep Slayer that nests inside. A critical mission. The Castro Defector won't reveal what he knows of Abyssal Nectar until the monster that haunts him is dead. So... Uh, we were going to take these, so we'll swap this one out for Ingrid. We'll leave the other um, small missions, the intel missions, I think. There's no safe house ones this week, so... So equipment-wise, we're going to take... Um, this is just a more damaging grenade. We may as well take... Take the grenade. We'll take... Haste flask. Yeah, this basically means we can buff or debuff consumable for free. Being healed. That one might be quite good for uh, for Isaac. We'll just give him the armor, I think, and give him the hit chance. That looks fine. Um, now Anna, again, may as well concentrate on um, on heals, really. Um, in fact, this is a... That's a full heal. I think we'll take these because she gets the buff to... Um, to the healing items anyway. So we'll take that, that. And I might give her... A stress flask as well. Buff or debuff. Yeah, we'll take that. I think we'll take this one, and I think I'm going to give uh, Ingrid the speed. Blinded on hit on that one. And for items here, probably Thunderbomb might be good, and... You know, again, I might take a stress flask and leave just one slot for picking items up. She needs the, uh... Well, she doesn't need that one, but I think that's probably the best one to use. Take that. We'll give her the speed armor. And I don't know whether she'll benefit from this. Um, it's a weapon mod. I don't know if that actually affects her melee attacks, but she may as well take it anyway. And we'll give it a go, see how this goes like this. So who will even whisper of Abyssal Nectar? Few have ever escaped the cult that calls it its holiest of holies, but sometimes a terrible shark, along with a healthy fear of the ocean, can lead a lost man to shore. My agents found one such, a former devotee to the undersea god, who now says he'll happily spill about the nectar, but only if we kill a creature that has stalked him since the doubt first entered his heart. The creature nests in Assumption House, an old Nicastro estate. No trap could be better baited, but it's the best lead the League has had on Abyssal Nectar in 200 years. Assumption House? The creature hunting our rat is somewhere inside. The sooner we slay it, the sooner we will be free to tell us where the Nectar is. Okay, so we've got to find the Deep Slayer, first of all. Delightful! So again... Still going to make sense to um, look around, I think, for any items. I assume there'll probably be other enemies in here as well, um, depending on how tough this Deep Slayer is. Who would walk patrol in a place like this? Yeah. 
Yeah, we've got regular units as well here, so... So we've got four slams. We've got a tower here with a short timer on it. So that's only got two... Two turns on that. So there's two patrolling here together. The briny baroque, the once lavish furnishings are damp to the touch and reek of salt and mildew. This is quite a juicy target for a slam if they all stay together. One here on its own, which let me remind ourselves what these do. Um, yeah, so these are immune to takedowns, immune to poison, but takes double shock, loses speed upon becoming shocked, inflicts extra stress. Yeah, so we've got the, the ranged um, sting, which inflicts poisoned. Yeah, I don't don't seem to remember them being too much of an issue. So there's the other two there. So this is patrolling back and forth. We've got one non-patroller here, one non-patroller here, one over here. Now this looks like it's going to patrol all the way around potentially, so... wait for these to come back. I don't know if we can get them three. Might be able to get all three if we come around this way. Yeah, we might be able, if we can get around, if we wait for him to come back here, and we can do a slam from this direction, we might get away with taking these three out. It just depends if this one is going to see us, and what that uh, Deep Stalker does. Back off. So we can try this. Yeah, that seemed to work okay. Okay, so we've got three down there. Um, again, I'm not sure how... No, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I was trying to walk around the other way to get back up here for this one, but uh, this shouldn't be too bad. We've got this one here, which is right next to a box of explosives. The Deep Stalkers probably wants to be our main target, and obviously we've got this. It's slightly longer than I thought, actually. So, okay, best way we can do this. Can't remember whether these can these be knocked down. Okay, I think if we if we shoot this, it's gonna knock this one down. And do damage to it, so we may as well do that. She won't be able to act then next turn either. Uh, let's see what else we can do first. We're going to have low percents against this one. I, c 
can't remember whether these can be knocked down. So we'll have to try this because I'm got I'm guessing we can't, but I can't remember. Because we're like floating, so I hate the clingy ones. Oh it can. That's that's good, okay. So that one is knocked down. That one shouldn't be able to act either. And then we can blind this one, I think. I like our odds a bit better now. Okay, so then we can take our free free movement. I don't really think it matters where we go with this. Over him. And she's only blinded. This one shouldn't be able to act. This one shouldn't be able to act. This one can act, but she's blinded. So I think if we go Overwatch here, I have the area covered. And the same here. Um, in fact, yeah, we'll go Overwatch here. I think. This one may Not get a so hit. Fast. Yeah, she did still manage to hit, unfortunately. Oh, twice as well. <laughs> okay. That was a bit unlucky. Right, well, first of all, may as well finish this one for a start. That'll get us a bit of health back, and then we could do with getting some damage on this one. Try and finish this one off, 60%. Yeah, that's good. Um, only got 40 on this. Um, we could take the... Man, it might be a bit of a waste now, using the, the buff. Pell's only got a 50% chance. Yeah, we only got 50% on this. So we need to go for some flanks, I think, although she's only got one movement left. We can move... We're still not flanking it even there for some reason, still in half cover. In that case, we may as well move here. I think, again, probably take the overwatch. Um, We can actually do a push kick again, yeah. That's gonna be the thing to do, I think. You stay away from me. Take the push kick again. We've got another turn before he's coming anyway. As quick as you think. How how did that happen? That's strange. Not sure what happened there. He can obviously cast this ability when it's not his turn. Okay, we're just going with Overwatch then, I guess. There. Hmm. I mean, it should have been knocked down again then from the kick. So not only was it not knocked down, it was um, it's managed to act twice effectively so we take this these are coming in on the next turn so she could really do with how far does his uh, overwatch go not very far Less removes debuffs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Oh no, it's not gonna work from there. These shouldn't be able to actually act on, on the turn they come in anyway, so. Um, yeah, we'll use this. Remove the poison at least. 
And then if we move somewhere to cover and take an evade, I think. Come on! There are more guards coming! Oh, this is the summoner guy, I think, so. So we've only got that one in range, unfortunately. We could do with taking a Magister out. We could use... We're not going to get there, unfortunately. We could probably knock these two down if we move... If we move up here. She's going to need a reload, unfortunately. Um... See, so we've got this as well. We've got this we can use. To give... Because we, we can use this, and it will have reset after this battle anyway. It's five turn cooldown. Is it going to benefit us on this turn, though? we use just let me think about this if we use that this is going to refund an AP anyway so we're going to have yeah so we'll take this And then we do this because that'll we can refund make it, out it of anyway. This. I know we can. And this is only one's permission. I don't really. What she could do with a heal. Um... I don't know what to do for the best here. Um, so we've only got 40... I'm, I might take this shot here for what it is. So she's blinded. These have both now got three, three points each. So... We could take a movement here, get behind cover. We could take... We could take this. This is going to do pretty decent damage to them too. Oh, it missed them both. I thought... At least it's flushed them out of cover, but... not going to help us either. I mean, we can finish this one off with two strikes and then take an evade. What other abilities have, uh, have these got apart from... So accurate at short range is moderate damage, precision shot. We can buff people and we can summon. But I think that takes... And a stun grenade. I think that takes a turn for him to come in, so... We've also got this. We could not both of these. I oh know we couldn't. Nope, we can only get him... Huh, that's unfortunate. If I grenade this one, it just doesn't seem a very good use of a grenade. But if I grenade her, I, I can at least finish her off. But now I think we're going to have to go with two strikes, unfortunately. At least then we can kill this one. One less to worry about. 
keep the two AP and get some health back as well. I and mean, then I wonder if I can kick these into each other. This might work. Yeah, knocked him down, but not her. Okay. Well, I'll stick and move this one then. You took your eye off the prize. Albeit last time they were blinded, they still managed to hit me twice, but. If I come all the way over here, maybe. I mean, I guess an overwatch on him, I don't think it's going to be effective, but. He shouldn't be able to act. Take this. She gets the automatic. Yeah, still. That's three hits out of three hits while they're blinded. <laughs> They've managed to hit me with that. Uh, I think we just finish off with Ingrid because it'll uh, be good to give her the health back, I think. That's the last of them. Uh, she could still do with a heal. Don't wander. Okay, so a letter written in a spindly hand with mottled purple ink. Niche, your initiation day approaches. When the red tide blooms and the waves froth with blood, you will be taken to Assumption House. There you will prove yourself in the Castro as I did when I came of age. Success will bring you adoration and power and a name to call your own. Zorana, like your mother's mother, a good, strong name. Failure will see you mangled and discarded just as my brothers were. A filigree of meat to anoint the Deep Slayer's lair. And so, my sweet, show courage, remember your hymns and couplets, the gospel of salt, the brine water verses. If you fill your heart with the pelagic Moor's beauty, his proxy will not harm you. But your devotion must be genuine, child. Lies will not protect you from the perils of the deep. Attend my words and prove your worth, and you will take your place at your mother's side. It would break my heart to forget you, child. I pray that you succeed. Okay, so let's have a quick look around here. I don't know whether it's worth... Um, we may really want to use this. Oh, I can't You, I keep forgetting about that. We can't use these out of combat, can we? I don't think. So let me check, actually. If she picks this up, can she use it on herself? Yeah, she can. Yeah, I think, I think we'll use that for what now it is. Where was I? Hopefully pick another one up, but she could do with getting the health back. So let's just have another quick look around this room. Got some more stuff to look at. The dead half. The chimney flue is overgrown with a strange dripping fungus. So we can go that way. Um, we came from this way. Uncle, thank you ever so much for your kind invitation. What a pearl this Assumption House is. I cannot imagine a better place to carry our task to fruition. My sister and I have done as you asked, hosting salons and socials for police, politicians and the local gentry. Intimidation and bribery is an intoxicating combination, and before long they were eaten out of the palms of our hands. Should any of our new friends prove foolish enough to raise voice against us, Lucrezia will be quick to silence them, as you are no doubt aware she is quite efficient. In, a year's, in half a year's time, the tide will bloom red and initiations will begin once more. My daughters will be among them and she will earn my mother's name. How much brighter Assumption House will feel with a child inside and how much she will learn of the priesthood. We must prepare her, Lucrezia and I, for her future is ripe with our triumph. I have seen it in visions, Uncle, as of you, I'm sure. She will use the banished court to achieve our ends. She will make the tower her plaything. The devouring king will be reborn, but only if my daughter is ready. In his name, Vera. So I'm not sure who all these are yet. So that's the direction we came from. I think... Can we go this way as well or not? No, this looks... Closed. Oh no, can we... Yeah, that needs a key. Okay, so I'm guessing we'll probably have to come back to that. This way, we've got to go first by the looks of it. These books want to be read. Waterlogged stacks, row upon row of pristine tombs, tomes crowd the wet and sagging bookshelves. Their lustrous leathery covers shine invitingly in the half light. Let's 
Distress Remedy. Um, may as well pick that up for what it is. A medical kit with you, so I've seen the sisters do wonders with this. Replace that. The Codex Elapmus Volume 5. On the Slayers of the Deep, a gift and offering from our great devouring king. In form, they are quite similar to the Stalkers of the Deep. You will know them by their vibrant hue and the patterns woven into their mottled height. The Deep Slayer is the secret strength of the Nicastro line and has been seen, has been from the time of antiquity. In his benevolence, our abyssal lord sent a hundred immortal Deep Slayers to serve as our house guardians and instruments of war. Alas, their numbers have dwindled but are now but a handful remain. Our few remaining Deep Slayers are cherished and revered. At the Pump House, they stand sentry, destroying the foes of our faith. And at Assumption House, they stand in place of the Pelagic Moor himself, the Overseers of Initiation and the Ruin of the Unworthy. Two guys. If it's just two, I'm tempted to just engage these normally without uh, using a, si um, a, a signature or a slam. But you, the problem you've got, you don't know how long the mission is and whether there's any uh, refill um, refills available. We may just take the slam and we'll see what happens here. Sleep well. I'm going to hope that we can maybe refill them. Okay, so frag grenade. Um... I might drop this and pick that up instead. For me, you shouldn't have. There's items everywhere in this uh, in this bit. It'll do. Curious. The Journal of Janos Nicastro 1, 12th of Jan 1772. A busy day broke bread with shipwrights from Sweden, Denmark, and the Kingdom of Prussia. Each pled his case to maintain and service our shipping fleet. Their attempts to woo me over fell on deaf ears. Their attempts to woo me over fell on deaf ears, for the Nicastro line has its own methods. Most sanctified by our devouring king. After ridding myself of these nuisances, I busied myself with letters from the priesthood, which made which has made great progress in India, the Americas, and the Scandinavian states. In Sweden, the cult has infiltrated the Aurora Society. Excerpts from the Cold Epiphany and the Brian Water Hymns have already begun appearing in their literature. We will open a chapter in Stockholm soon. Satisfied that the faith continues to flourish, I turn my attention inward. A goblet of raw nectar, the gift from our devouring king, I open my eyes to his divine will. It was his, in this exalted state that I attended to matters of strategy. By, the ta by this time next month, another dozen of our Deep Slayers will patrol the Baltic, sowing terror in our rivals and sinking their fleets. This time, Grape Shot will not touch them, I know it in my soul. The visions do not lie to those with faith enough to inter interpret them. As in the days of antiquity, our great house will rule the seeds. Lord Janos Nicastro. So thunder bomb here. Have we got. Again, I might drop this and pick that up. What do we have here? They can be pretty handy for thunder thunder bombs. Intel, I'll take that. The Journal of Janos Nicastro, two, twenty-fifth of March, seventeen seventy-eight. Drank today. Clearly, our recent losses are a mark of divine interference, the tampering of some other god, or perhaps the accursed lamplighters and their infernal undrawn hand. 
The situation calls for insight, and the abyssal nectar is the wellspring from which inspiration flows. And so I drink, drank from dawn to dusk, and I let him steer my mind. Thus was a great vision born, which I have ordered done. Our magnificent new Assumption House will double as a cathedral to our devouring king. I have seen it in my dreams, a ritual of initiation, with our remaining deep slayers as proxies for our king. The clergy did not like my edict. That was plain as day, but neither did they challenge it, for I am Vinicastro, a seer of signs and omens. By the divine will of our abyssal lord, I, shall, I will shepherd this house to glory. Our influence will grow, and by the turn of the next century, our king will be reborn. Okay, so here's the key. A souvenir. Some ether will take that. So we're only leaving behind here a couple of stress remedies. Um, we've got a couple of thunder bombs and a stress flask here, a couple of grenades and a haste flask, and another stress flask and a couple of uh, All right, let's go. medical items. So we can come back for those if we need them. In fact, she's actually got two stress now, so not bad. may as well use this. I'll take it. Or can we not use it again out of combat now? No, nope, we can't. Doesn't seem like certain ones you can use out of combat unless I'm missing something. But to work then. Lord, do all churches look this sinister? The vile monument, the chiseled recesses of this monstrous figure are pooled with stagnant brine. Firebomb, is that, uh... I mean, I'm guessing this thing probably is susceptible to fire. We've been water-based. The place of rituals, the surface of this monolithic altar is alive with strange organic groves. I'm wondering if I should maybe... Um, again, I've no idea what else we're going to fight before, but... Um, yeah, I think maybe if we drop one of these... I'm not, not sure which one of these is which. I think one of them's... There you go. Decent enough. Yeah, so we'll drop the weaker grenade, pick up the firebomb. Yeah, so we've got a refill here. There may, there may be several more fights first, I'm not sure. So we may as well pick this up on, uh, on Isaac. Janos Nicastro, the inscription carved into the base of a statue reads, I'm not sure if this is Janos or Janos Nicastro, 1733 to 1801, Lord of House Nicastro, embraced by the deep at the caves of Yelata, where he pledged a dozen initiates to the opener of doors as a token from our devouring king. Well, well. The sodden floorboards, a trail of putrefying mucus befouls the hallway floor. This was a ballroom once. Now it's a dripping abattoir. Okay, so... Is that the Deep Slayer over there? Mutilated bodies, pile of mangled corpses bearing unnaturally vicious wounds. So I'm guessing this is the Deep Slayer. Yeah. So it's basically just the same, but with more health, I think. Um, again, it's immune to takedown, immune to poison, double shock. And it's got all the same abilities, so I'm guessing this is it here, so um, we've got a tower on both sides, 
the most dangerous of the devouring king's brood. In some circles of the Nicastro cult, deep slayers are worshipped like demigods. So, let's just have a quick look around here, what we can see. I think it is just this one room. We've got a tower. There's no other enemies that I can see, but obviously we've got two um, reinforcement towers that are obviously going to become active. So let's just see where he goes. I'm thinking we'd start off by just blowing up one of these when he's uh, this way when he's nearby see it doesn't mention anything about fire damage it, extra shock damage so the fire damage is uh, not going to be applicable I don't think not strong to it but not weak to it either so I think we just start it here I think yeah, this is as good as good a time as any. Um, see, this has got a chance. Same man, I think what I'm going to do is um, shoot the explosives. Yeah, we'll we'll start off with this. So that's knocked it down which hasn't mattered because we've got this anyway so so we could destroy that's possibly one of the best see we I don't know if there's a way of I mean this is the original one here I'm guessing I'm not sure how this works because this is obviously the original one. But when I'm attacking it, it's not showing me how much damage I'm going to do. So does that mean that you can't damage it until all of these um, are taken out? Okay, this, this one has got a few turns. This one, I don't even know if this is activated yet actually. This one might not have activated. Okay, I think what we'll do, we'll use this straight off the bat here. Um, you can help us with this. And then we may as well use this. Together well. now. And then, I mean, I don't think, I don't even know if, that, if this is stressable or not. What we'll do, we'll shoot this one. And see what happens. There you go. That one automatically kills all of them. So that's that's even better. So that means what we can do with this. Higher heat means more damage. So we can actually we can shoot him once with this. Take that. We can then use repel. Not so hard now, eh? And we've actually got a pretty decent chance of being able to kill this before it has a turn. 66. Yeah, I think we can... What's it got left now? 111. Certainly possible here to, to kill it with two strikes, but not guaranteed. So I think what we'll do, uh, we will knock it, well, hopefully, knock it down first. That was close enough. Yeah, that one, obviously, 
isn't able to be knocked down. It looks like it can be stressed, but it's got a lot of stress. So do we go for the stick and move, or do we go for the strike? We've got equal amount of crit for both. Equal amount of damage for both as well. So we may as well go for the stick and move. I mean, at least we can move, move away. I mean, it is blinded, so it's gonna, it's gonna get a chance to act at least. This one is not gonna be an issue. In fact, it's not actually done anything. So, well, in that case, may as well just finish it off with Ingrid. I'm not sure. That will make our snitch happy. Yeah, that seems like it's it. Oh, these have come in early. Oh, oh that one was active. Okay, I, I must have missed that. And this one. Well, hmm, thinking about this and. Do we step? Oh, it's a long way away, this escape. Okay, it's a long, long way away. Right. So we've got a Spitfire here, but it's only... It's only affecting two of them. The problem is, I don't want to... I don't want to run away if there's going to be more enemies on the way out. That's the problem. Hopefully we can deal with these before. So I think we should stay and fight. We're in decent shape anyway. This shouldn't be a problem. We've got three more turns on that. Um, so these are in half cover. I mean, we should prioritise this guy, I guess, but can't really get to him. We've got... We've also got... Two of these, not close enough to use them yet. Or well, we can get all three of these. This is probably good then. Dodge this! That will flush them all out as well. In fact, yeah, the item I gave him, the endless bandolier, um, I've just realised isn't going to matter because uh, he doesn't have ammo anyway. So. <laughs> There's no point in using that. So he's still got one AP. We've got a grenade we can use we can't reach with. So we have got this. Can only hit one with it though, so it's not worth doing that. We could use this. Lose speed for two rounds, but again, I think I can only... Yeah, I can hit two with that. It's probably not worth it again though. Okay, so we do this. That one stung, didn't it? Now, now he's going to start cooking. taking some damage potentially from these because he's overheated now. I and mean, I think what we'd probably do here Let's think about this. How many can they affect? I reckon I can get him actually with it. Ooh, I can get quite a few of these actually. It's a shame I can't quite get him because that's actually going to stress him out to the max. I can't quite reach these back ones. Um, okay, I think we use this. Now, what is the best way now of using her turn? Um, I think we're going to have to run in. The option then is I can either knock all these down and leave him alone. Same, I can finish this one for free anyway. So that way, that may as well be done. Get rid of that. And then we can't. Yeah, we can we can knock these down. I think that's probably going to be the uh, the play here. 
Your name's on my dance card. So the only one who can act here is this guy. Who's definitely going to get a shot off, I would think. Oh, I never even saw this one. Yeah, okay. Never even saw that one. Got a couple of turns still for this. No, he Every didn't get time. a shot off, so that's okay. Right, so... Um, that actually wasn't too bad. So, try and finish this one. Jasmine Harsley for doing what must be done. Just got it bleeding at least. If we go for... Trouble is with Isaac now, he's barely going to be able to move. That's the problem. Um, yeah, that's that's the problem. We have got... Oh, it's another two rounds for that. Well, first of all, we can kill this one. For three... We can finish off. We will be able to kill this one um, with two strikes. Oh, we stress broken him actually, so that's. Um, doesn't actually matter which one we use here, I don't think. The quicker we cut through them, the better. Yeah, that actually stresses these as well, so that's handy. And then we can probably knock this one down again. Let's part ways. Yeah. And now with Isaac, I don't really know what to do here. We've only got 40% to hit him. Oh, we've got 65 on Isaac, actually. I'm wondering... Yeah, we'll take this. I mean, he may take a bit of damage here, but... That'll stress break him as well. Yeah, he did take a little bit of damage. We may as well take the extra damage on this. I don't know what he'll do. He may attack this. Because he's stress broken. I'm not sure. Um... And then we probably may as well vent. This will heal him a bit as well. Venting! Yeah. And give him armor as well. Oh, in fact, we've been able to do that for free, so... Should we take... These aren't coming in... Yeah, we've still got time on this. So, yeah, we may as well... May as well take this. This one shouldn't be able to act, and I'm not sure. Yeah, he hasn't been able to act either, so that's fine. In fact, these are both stress broken, so we can finish both of these off. The pain will be over soon. And then these are coming in next turn, so. Um, guess it would be wise to get in range and then on these ones I think we're probably best just taking a an overwatch on both of these oh she needs a reload okay ah more meat for the grinder so again we've got two melee and oh you're a fiery old girl and the overseer so this guy Oh, he's overheated again already. Um, huh. That will take this. <laughs> Beautiful. That stress breaks. Well, not stress breaks, but it stresses this one at least. Um, where are we best moving to... We, don't know. we can't flank any of these. May as well move here. We can take a couple of shots. Only 40% though. I 
think we'll just take the overwatch. <laughs> um, and then this one will stress break her. So we can finish that one for three. And then we should be able to, yeah, knock this one down. I am tired of your face. So that is pretty much over, I think, now. Finish this one off. That was the best the court can muster. Okay, that went pretty well. Um, Don't wander. Looking pretty decent for health and stress. So we're just not sure if there is any more battles on the way out. That's one of the reasons, like I said before, why I didn't want to run away. Because I didn't want six enemies behind me and then run into another squad on the way out. So I think we've got everything in here. So that is the way out, I think. Just let's double check. Yeah, there's no other doors. That's the way we came in. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if there was some more battles on the way out. Just it looks too far away to be uh, to be a straight road out here. A hall of ancestors. Statues line the hall. The likenesses of long dead Nicastros. In the low light, they almost seem to move. So we've got uh, Niwome Nicastro. The inscription carved into the base of the statue reads. Niwome Nicastro, 1826-1901, Seneschal of House Nicastro, upon reaching his 75th year, Niwome entered the surf and was embraced by the deep. There's a lot of Nicastros. A lot of legacy on Zorana's shoulders. Vila Nicastro. 1813 to 1847, acolyte of our devouring king. In the ecstasy of nectar, Vila ascended the cliffs at Imona with her lover and took flight. Tomila Nicastro, 1721 to 1773, Seneschal and Oracle of House. Nicastro blessed on her deathbed by a vision of the king's flood. She tore out her eyes and offered them to her children that they may inherit her gift. Zlatinka Nicastro, 1550-1570. Priestess of House Nicastro at the Inquisition's approach, gave herself to the Deep Slayers rather than mouth the words of the Roman idol. Vladimiru Nicastro, 1346-1398. Lord of House Nicastro denied the Deep by the ingratitude and heresy of his serfs, who left his body on the steps and burned his head. See, does not forgive. Bogdan Nicastro, 1448 to 1515 and 1530. Priest of House Nicastro, embraced by the Deep in 1515, returned in 1530 to bring our house the writings of the King open. He underwent the final metamorphosis. Dragoslav Nicastro, 1600 to 1699, Seneschal of House Nicastro, drowned in her bed on the eve of the new century. The undrawn hand appears again. Take the vote of fate. And the last one, Milos Nicastro, 1745 to 1774, acolyte of our devouring king and oracle of House Nicastro, followed in his mother's mother to Mila's wake after six months of pathetic dreams granted him by imbibition. I know there's, there's more. Uh, Bogdana Nicastro. Thought we'd had a Bogdana, that might be a different one. 1783 to 1850. Lady of House Nicastro last seen aboard the Maladan's Ghast, which disappeared into the South Pacific Gaia on the June solstice of 1850. And Radomir Nicastro, 1875 to 1917, acolyte of our devouring king, killed in action at the Battle of Kobadin after driving an enemy battalion to madness with his hymns to the abyss.
Yep, looks looks like we can get straight out here actually, so just a quick skirt around for items. Oh, I think we're clear. With that creature dead, our informant is free to tell us where the nectar is. So we probably could have ran straight out of there, but uh, it went fine anyway. So the creature that haunted Anacastro informant is dead. I knew so five hours before even receiving Captain Constantius's communique. Communique. When a terrible scream interrupted my work, I ran to the informant's room and found him rolling on the floor, sobbing tears of joy. As soon as he could speak again, he drew a very detailed map to the distillery where he swears House de Castro makes its abyssal nectar. When the agents arrive, it will be time to plan a heist. Ten skill points for that as well. Okay, I think these are both new. Um, oh no, we have got this. I think this is what we've got on Eddie, I think. Um, marked and all enemies in the cone. This one may be worth having. 20 max HP. And anyone who attacks this agent becomes marked. Hmm, I don't know who I'd give this to, though. Um... I mean, it makes more sense for her to have another heal ability. Um, this is very handy as well. Because it basically, for free, because it refunds the AP it uses. I've never really used either of his two, although the Weaver one does sound handy. And the Grenade one. I mean, this is it's only 20 damage, this. But it's not on a cooldown, which is... Oh, but it's once permission. Okay, yeah. So, I think probably this. This doesn't seem overly strong. 20 damage. I know you can upgrade these, but... Yeah, I think we'll... I think we'll give this to him. An eye for a bloody eye. Uh, and then we'll... I mean, we, sh we sh really should probably be upgrading these. Um... Some of them don't tell you how much damage the upgrade's gonna gonna make. This is worth upgrading, I think. Turns it into an 80 health heal. Yeah, we'll, we'll upgrade that. Oh, and this is a strong upgrade as well. So this... Again, it's one's permission, but it's all teammates in a target area for 80 health. But they are quite expensive, these, to upgrade. And then this one is on a one turn cooldown less. I think we'll leave it at that for now. Because when you think, this, that's the first card I think I've upgraded. And I've still only got 148 ink. And I have discarded quite a few cards as well. Your digging paid off, I see. So killing the Deep Slayer of Assumption House has freed on a Castro informant to tell us all he knows of Abyssal Nectar, where it's made and how to steal a vial of it for my atropic device. So it unlocks um, the heist Cold Epiphany. Steal a sample of House Nicastro's Abyssal Nectar. Okay, so optionally complete prep work, terror in a bottle and graven images to make this house run more smoothly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Zorana Nicastro, poet, duelist, and bloody-handed zealot, with a swarm of horrors at her command. The source of her power, a mysterious elixir called Abyssal Nectar. She makes it at the Pump House, a secluded distillery on the Baltic. 
and in our hands, it will be the key to her undoing. Welcome back. Your mission was successful. Several hours ago, our Nicastro informant started speaking, and he's hardly stopped since. Yeesh. Guess that Deep Slayer really was binding his tongue. He told me everything. Everything we need to know to retrieve the Abyssal Nectar. So? Where is it? A distillery on the coast of the Baltic Sea. He calls it the Pump House. The nectar is made there, and special tools are required to, in our new friend's words, extract it. The extraction tools are kept on a tramp steamer, docked at the pump house. You'll need to board the ship before entering the facility. Board a boat, steal the extraction tools, then extract the nectar. Got it. One more thing. Our new friend tells me that Lady Nicastro has been fortifying the pump house and its surrounding docks. You might disable those extra defenses if you wish. Or you could simply spring the heist. I leave it to you to decide. Okay, so let's just, um, do oh, this is another event. Slow burn. A terrible pyretic fever has begun to circulate among Lord Strum's rivals. As the victim's temperatures slowly rise, they are stricken with a violent mania, lashing out at loved ones with murderous intent. Eventually, the fever, the fever builds to a crescendo and the afflicted erupt into flames. Strum's obelisks are the most probable source of this awful cu curse. Failing to treat it will only make House Strum more powerful. Okay, so the do nothing is not really an option. Um, conduct a protective ritual costs us 8 ink, or we can treat the afflicted with 2 heals. Huh. Guess we go with the ritual. So protection comes in many forms. Most require sacrifice. Tapping into the League's ink reserves, lock draws five vials, one for each of the Fever's most prominent victims, and tips them into a leaden bowl. Other substances follow. As he stirs, the solution begins to fume. Eventually, the ink congeals into a reeking, scab-like mass. Its magic has been burnt away, but so has the pyretic fevers. Costly victory, but a necessary one. Yeah, that uh, seems fine. So, heists. Finishing the job. With the setup mission complete, Locke now knows where one of the Scions hides their catalyst. It's time to stage a heist. The first heist mission is now available on the world map. These heists will not be easy. The catalysts are protected by dangerous phenomena, but agents can dispel them by completing prep work missions, also now available on the world map. So, yeah, so this is the actual heist, I guess. Yeah. And then, these are the prep work missions, I'm guessing, so... Yeah, so I'm guessing, I mean, these are probably going to be worth doing. Basically, if we do one or both of these, it's going to make this mission easier. That's that's the basic idea of that. So we will probably aim to do them before this. We've all, we've got this mission as well. Um, we've got a Marteau mission here, which is a, quite a tough one. That'll stop them reaching a break point. We, we're going to have a break point again soon because Nicastro... Or Marto are going to get one next week anyway. But we'll have to have a look at these and decide which way to go. Um, that was another... That was a special mission, I think. That would set Marto back quite a lot, actually. But yeah, we'll aim to, um, to do these prep work. We don't have to do them straight away or in order, but I think we'll aim, aim to do these before we do this. Um... And then, yeah, there's a good number of missions to pick from here. Um, I 
That one there is quite a big decrease for Martel. So, yeah, we'll have to weigh them up and see. Let's uh, see what's going on here first. Senorita Rodriguez, you are not cut from the same cloth as the others in this group. What do you mean, Mr. Locke? Well, you would have made a fine lamplighter even back in the times of yore. Unlike most of the others, you are not selfish, loutish, or low of character. Mr. Locke, every person here has risked their lives to save an uncaring world from a horrible fate. And they have done it, knowing they wouldn't have been letting the servant's door of the old Lamplighters League. I meant no offense. These are my people, Mr. Locke. And if I don't fit in yet, then I shall work harder at being selfish, loudish, and low. Ah, Caliba Root. Boy, you really got to keep your voice down when you ask about this stuff on the street. People get touchy. Perfect. Thank you, Nikki. I also managed to pick up some choice fillets and a bottle of Rioja. Oh, no, thank you. I don't eat meat. No problem. We can skip the steaks. I still have the wine. We could head down to the beach, drink it by the water. Oh. Oh. Ah. Never mind. Nikki, I'm sorry. But I don't... That's all right. Forget it. I think you're wonderful. I do. Listen, uh, I gotta go check on Gina's engines. I... I heard some rattling on the last flight. and need some looking into right away. Your tattoos are very fetching, Celestine. Let us dispense with illusions. You feign kindness towards me because you deem me dangerous and seek to protect yourself in my good graces. You got me. But can you blame me, darling? I cannot. You are right. I am dangerous. Oh, careful. You keep talking like that, and I might start to like you in earnest. Okay, so we'll look into the uh, mission next time. The, I think, I mean, we've obviously now got the um, everyone back on the roster. Nobody's wounded anymore, so that's fine. Um, we'll just take a quick look at the um, skill points. We did want to, um, yeah, she gets extra speed there. This is an upgrade on uh, sticker move, which causes a knockdown when it crits. Um, still feel like we're probably not using some of these enough, but you do get more attached to certain ones, I think. I think we'll maybe um, leave these just until the next mission and maybe spend some men depending on who we're taking. That's a bigger cone. Yeah, I think we'll probably just do that. Um, it warms the heart to help you. I think we already spent quite a few on these already. On good stuff. Good stuff? Yeah. What'll it be? Yeah, I think that's fine. That's going to be it uh, for now, I think. We will have to have a look at emissions next time. There's a lot of choice there now. There's, uh, we will, I think, go down the route of uh, doing the prep missions first. I mean, why not make it easier if we can? But obviously, we're going to have to manage that by um, with other missions in between, or else um, other ones are going to be uh, getting too high up on their meters. So we're going to have to maybe spread it out a bit over the next uh, few few game weeks and see uh, see which order is best at the time but we'll we'll have a look at that uh, but yeah that's going to be it for that one so i hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you did and also uh, hit subscribe it's a new channel so it really helps me out i appreciate it thanks again and we'll see you all in the next one